Push has highly sensitive MPE pads that allow you to expressively play instruments and drums. In this video, let's take a look at how you can adjust these settings in the setup page on Push. As a first step, I'll enter the setup page by pressing the button on the top left-hand corner of the Push unit. Here we can see that there are two sections that are relevant to the sensitivity and how you can play the pads on Push. These are expression and sensitivity. Let's first take a look at the sensitivity settings. In the sensitivity settings on Push, there are four main parameters, threshold, drive, compand, and range. The threshold setting determines how hard you need to hit a pad or trigger. At low settings, a light touch will trigger a pad. At a higher setting, you'll need to hit the pad harder to trigger a sound. Drive pushes all the values in the curve to the outer extremes of the velocity. If drive is set to a high value, you will more quickly reach higher velocities when playing the pads. If you turn drive down, you will rarely hit high velocities unless you strike the pads with more force. Compand is a simultaneous expanding and compressing tool. When set to values greater than zero, it forces incoming notes to the outer boundaries of a curve, making them play either loudly or softly. Compound values of less than zero force the velocity more towards the mid-range of velocity settings. When turning the compound value all the way up, when playing the pads, you will be able to play more high velocity and low velocity values instead of mid-range velocity values. Range determines the overall range of how hard you need to hit a pad for it to reach full velocity. Now let's take a look at the MPE settings in the Expression tab of the Setup menu. There are three expression modes that can be used on push. Mono aftertouch, poly aftertouch, and MPE, which stands for MIDI polyphonic expression. The expression mode is set to NPE as a default, but can be changed at any time if you wish to do so. In tune location and in tune width are the two parameters that allow you to set the way a pad is in tune when you play it. Tune-in location can be set to either finger or pad. When tune-in location is set to pad, where you set your finger on the pad will determine the initial pitch bend, where no pitch bend applied to the note is in the center of the pad. So this parameter is greatly dependent on the tune width setting. So for example, I'll set the tune width to one millimeter. You'll notice that if I play the pad and veer a little to the left or to the right, the note is very quickly out of tune. The larger the tune width means that the larger the tolerance is before the note is out of tune. When the tune-in location is set to finger, the pitch bend will be zero where you initially set your finger down on the pad. So as an example, I'll play a pad but set my finger down more towards the right-hand side of the pad. You'll notice that the pad is in tune, but as soon as I move my finger towards the left, the pad goes out of tune and returns to being in tune when I return back to the original place where my finger was down on the pad. Once again, the in-tune width will determine how much the pitch will slide from its original position. The note pitch bend is a MIDI message that allows you to bend the pitch of a note up or down, adding expressiveness to your playing. By default, note pitch bend is automatically enabled on push when devices have note pitch bend configured to modulate something. If an instrument doesn't have note pitch bend configured, 
push automatically disables this feature. Instead, it enables the ability to re-trigger the notes when you slide your finger across horizontally. This is commonly known as glissando and creates a smooth sliding effect when playing notes. When you want to override the automatic behavior, go to the settings and change this to either on or off. Finally, the last parameter that you can adjust is the slide height. The slide height setting for pads restricts the expressive vertical range of the pad, so it reduces the chances of you accidentally triggering another pad above or below the pad you're currently playing. 